I think that with my platform, as big as it is, I think that I can share other people's stories and be a voice for them. Hey, what is up, you guys? It's Dustin, and I am back with another video. And in this video, I am going to be discussing Gypsy Rose and her addressing her haters and something that she may have done that could possibly send her back to the slammer. Now, of course, this is just alleged. I do have a screenshot, but I don't really know the legitimacy of it yet, but I want to present it to you guys so you can be the judge of what you think may go on in this situation because Gypsy Rose may have stepped in it and she may be going back to the slammer if what people are alleging against her is true. Now, just quickly before we get into this, I did want to thank you guys for watching my WWE video. You know that I'm trying to do new types of content over here. I'm trying to get outside of the box of the beauty space and the beauty drama. While that will always be one of my loves of social media, following messy beauty gurus and seeing what they do, I would like to do other things. And I would like to thank you guys for getting that video to almost 10,000. It's almost there now. And I'm actually very happy with that because I didn't expect that video to do anything. So I wanted to thank all of you guys that watched that video for me. But with all that said, let's get into this video. Okay, so we've all seen the rise of Gypsy Rose right before she got out of prison. There was a whole bunch of talks of this documentary that was coming out that she was going to be doing. We had the act as well as many other shows talking about what Gypsy Rose was doing and how she was going to be released. We were introduced to her husband, Ryan. And when Gypsy Rose got out of prison, a lot of people were very excited for her, but I knew eventually that the people were going to turn on her. And if you go over on TikTok and you put Gypsy Rose's name in, you will see a ton of videos that love her, but then you will also see a ton of videos of people that absolutely despise her. And I've talked pretty extensively about how I feel terrible for Gypsy Rose because her childhood was stolen. However, with that being said, she did commit a very egregious act in helping Nicholas go to John kill her mother. Now you guys know that I try to look for the good in everything. I don't really see any good in that because Gypsy Rose did hold a lot of power in that situation. She knew that she could walk. She knew that her mother was crazy. She knew that all she had to do was really reach out. She could have been in that wheelchair out in public Public girl and she could have just been like I'm here I'm here but she didn't well right now over on TikTok Gypsy Rose has almost 10 million followers right and people have turned their back on her girl she has three videos on her TikTok now where she used to have a whole bunch and the D is and currently at the time that I'm making this video, she is getting a metric ton of hate. So Gypsy Rose went onto her Instagram story to kind of clear up how she feels and what she thinks about people that are hating on her. And she says that what people are doing to her really doesn't affect her and it really doesn't bother her because she knows how social media works when the reality is Gypsy Rose does not know how social media works in 2024, girl. It has been a minute. It's more than just Reddit and Twitter now. TikTok is its own beast. But you guys check out what Gypsy Rose had to say about her haters and how she feels about all of this. I'm gonna do my makeup and I'm just gonna talk. <laughs> So I really just want to thank everybody that has continued to support me um, throughout my journey. I know that there is quite a few support, quite a few hate. The hate doesn't bother me. Um, I'm pretty secure in who I am as a person. And I just don't let it get to me. I always was told and learned, even in prison, that when haters run their mouths, the best thing to get under their skin is not like engaging in the drama. It's actually just living your life, like not letting it affect you. And so all the hate that's on social media doesn't affect my normal life. It doesn't affect my marriage or my happiness. Um, the people that really know me love me because they actually know me. Um, but anyway, just putting out a video saying like, thank you guys for staying strong with me. I know that it hasn't been easy. I know that there's a lot of misinformation out there and it's kind of hard to figure out what is real information and what is made up. And right now I know there's a whole lot that is just made up. Um, and I'm not gonna clap back at everybody. Like I'm not gonna waste my time my energy that I could be putting into my marriage, that I could be putting into my own mental health, that I could be putting into the projects and the things that I want to move forward with. So, and when I mean projects, I mean like, like advocacy work, volunteer work, you know, 
being an advocate, I'm trying to find that, like that niche, like sharing my story was the first step, but I want to move forward into sharing other people's stories because here's the thing. Not everybody's story makes headline news. And so I think that with my platform, as big as it is, I think that I can share other people's stories and be a voice for them, like let, share their own voice, like let them have a platform in which they can feel comfortable because they can relate, we can relate. You know, when reporters and stuff like that, they come up to you and they're like, please share your story, it would help so many people, but they don't know, like they don't know what it's like. So if I help share their stories, I feel like I can put them out there in a way that they can get support, they can get love, um, you know, maybe freed from prison, like depending on the situation, like that's what I wanna do with my life. So social media, it's not real life. The things that I'm doing behind the scenes that you guys don't even see, that's real life. So to all the supporters, thank you, I love you. To all the haters, no comment because I'm not gonna waste my time on you guys. All right. Okay, so I do want to acknowledge that Gypsy Rose, to me, at least in this video, did seem a little bit off kilter. She did seem like she was a little bit upset. She was nothing like she is in the interviews, because if you watched any interviews with Gypsy Rose after she's gotten out of prison, she seems like she's learned from a coach or someone has taught her how to handle situations and speak to people. And this is a very candid TikTok that she uploaded. And to me, in her voice at least, there's a little bit of anxiety. There's a little bit of her like maybe wondering how people are going to receive this and what they're going to do with this. And she has to know while she's addressing this that this is also going to stir people up because you can literally say anything as a social media influencer or own social media in general and people will pick apart literally anything that you say. And this is where I have to talk about Brittany. Now Brittany is a TikToker. She uploaded a TikTok talking about Gypsy Rose and how she was in the same area that she lives in and allegedly this TikTok that Brittany posted came across Gypsy Rose's For You page and Brittany is claiming that Gypsy Rose responded to her with a comment that I'm going to show you guys and if this is true, if this is a real thing, Gypsy Rose could be in a lot of trouble because as you know, Gypsy Rose is on parole because she did get out of prison for murder. And that means that you can't just go around willy nilly just saying anything that you want to people. You just can't get on social media and clap back at people because that could be turned into your parole officer. And that could land Gypsy Rose right back into the slammer, which is something I know that she does not want. But you guys check out what Brittany had to say about Gypsy Rose and then I'll be back with what happened and transpired after because it's wild. All right now, Miss Gypsy Rose was spotted 15 minutes roughly from where we currently reside in Veal Platte, Louisiana, all right? We were big supporters of Gypsy Rose because of what she has been through with having a mother with Munchausen by proxy syndrome. But girl, did you really have to unalive your mother? You could use a phone. You know how to use a computer. You knew you could walk. You knew you wouldn't sit, girl. The point is, in a situation, nobody had to be unalived. So if I ever come across Miss Gypsy Rose, I'm just gonna like freak out because um, I'll be scared for our lives. She's a master manipulator, y'all. She is a master. She knew the boy had autism, Asperger's, and all these mental disabilities, and bipolar, and uh, split personalities. She took advantage of that boy. She was probably on her little computer late at night typing in on Google, girl. Has anybody been unalived by a Munchausen by proxy syndrome case? Girl, and when Google said no, she said, okay, I'm going to be the first and I'm going to be famous. I'm just joking, y'all. But all all things aside, nobody had to be unalived in this situation. Now, I got to go to work. Love y'all. Bye. Okay, so I've said this before and now I'll say it again. You do not know what you will do in a situation until it's time that you're in that situation. You will never know how you will react. You don't know what you will say. You don't know what you'll do. You don't know until you're in that moment. But with me saying that, this was a premeditated thing. This was something that was planned. This was something that Gypsy Rose conspired with Nicholas Godijohn to commit this horrible, heinous act against her mother. It wasn't a situation where her mom was like actively like hurting her or anything like that, where she just like in a fit 
fit of rage, went off and murdered her mother. That is not what happened with Gypsy Rose. This was premeditated. This was preplanned. This was all thought out. This was all a plan. Gypsy Rose even admitted that she bought the knife at Walmart, okay? And I'm just saying all this to address what Britney said in her video. So now I want to show you guys what allegedly... Gypsy Rose commented on this video that Britney posted. Now, allegedly, because I do not want to contribute to misinformation, take this for what you will, take it as a grain of salt if you want to, but this person, Britney, is saying that Gypsy Rose commented on her video and said, I live in Lake Charles. Bet you won't say it to my face. Go on. Now, I'm inclined to believe that this may not be real because I don't want to think that Gypsy Rose would be this stupid. But if this is real, Gypsy, you could be in a lot of trouble. You have so many enemies on the internet right now. You have people that do not like you. They do not like anything about you because of what you've done and the crimes that you committed against your mother and how you turned your back on Nicholas Godejohn. And to add on to what Gypsy Rose was saying in this TikTok that she posted, if you want to do all these things, if you want to help people, I think that that is amazing. I think that is great. But you said that you were not going to clap back to people. You literally said that out of your mouth that you were not going to give attention and time and energy to the people that may not like you. So if this is real, if this is something that you done, Gypsy Rose, shame on you, girl, because if this is real, this could send you back to prison. And I don't want to see that for you. I would like to see you prosper. I would like to see you get out here and help people with the things that you were affected by, because there's obviously other people out there going through this that we do not know. And Gypsy Rose does have a way to help these people if they were to come to her. She could be that person that she needed in this situation that she was going through with her mother. But this is where I leave it to you guys. I want to know what you think. Do you think that Gypsy Rose did this? Do you think that this comment is real? Do you think she would be crazy enough to do this? Because I really truly don't know. I'm 50-50 on it. I think that Gypsy Rose may have had enough and she was probably like, girl, I'm gonna comment back to her. But I also can see the other side of it. Gypsy Rose is a popular topic right now. People love picking fights with her. There is one girl that I see on TikTok, literally every single video is about Gypsy Rose. And I'm like, girl, I cannot stand when people dedicate their whole entire social media platform to one person. That is annoying to me. And that to me is harassment. But I wanna know what you guys think. If you made it this far in this video, please leave me your thoughts and opinions down below. And also leave me the judge emoji because I want you guys to be the judge. But with all that said, I hope you guys all have an amazing day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.